I'm Rhoda. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm glad you're joining us for this dumbbell hip workout. This is low impact cardio. We're going to be using multiple muscle groups at the same time and like dumbbells. So what we do is we increase your heart rate into a fat burning zone, but we don't have to jump to do it. If that's the type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Here we go, ladies. Let's start to move. Get ready for some hit, high intensity interval training. Knees up in front. Close abs tight, lower abs, pull that tummy in. You're going to bring your heart rate up and down in this workout. That's what HIT is all about. So we have a high intensity interval. We're going to bring that heart rate up. Then we have a rest period. We're going to go 45 20 today. Let's go ahead and reach out. 45 seconds of work. We're going to move using dumbbells. That's how we get your heart rate up without jumping. Now then you're going to find that just using that little bit of resistance in these moves is going to get you huffing and puffing and that's the goal. Arms up and down, heels to the front. Using my light weights. And if you're just beginning, you could do this workout without weights. Uh, you're going to get a lot of movement. So you will be getting your heart rate up. So let's start with one weight. Sorry, I'm grabbing two. We'll do a, what I call a suitcase swing. So your feet are close together so you don't hit your knee. You're going to swing this weight back and forward. As it comes up, rear leg lift. All right? Ready? A lot of movement. Here we go. Swing and lift. I want you to move here. This is a lighter weight. This is lighter than a strength workout. I'm using my arm on the other side for some balance. Getting balance work, getting core work, getting cardio. <laughs> And a little bit of muscle toning too. So, I love this move. Watch that knee. Make you bring that knee in. Now, pop it with the weight. That would not be good. See, if the weight gets to be too much, put it down and just keep moving with us. We let our heart rate popping up here. You start to feel like you need to take deep breaths. That tells you we're getting heart rate up. Now, what happens on this rest, and I was wrong, it's a 15, 20 second rest. Yes, it's a 20 second. Let that heart rate come down a little bit, and then we bump it right back up. That's that interval training, okay? Take a deep breath. You ready to go on the other side? Here it is. So, lots of studies have been done around the hit and the concept of hit, and What's been proven is that over the course of this workout, as you feel this heart rate come up, even though we're taking those 20 second rests, it's as if your heart rate stayed up at the higher end the entire time. And it's a little bit lower overall than the total top end that you might hit, but it's close. So, burning a lot of fat and calories, having a little bit of fun too, hopefully. <laughs> No, my idea of fun. I've been told that my idea of fun is maybe not everybody's idea of fun. But it's fun when it's over. And we're here, we've already started. That's the hardest part. Okay, grabbing my other weight. We are going to punch up, up, across, cross, and down. So up, up, across, across, down, down. My toes are popping out here, so I have the lower body movement going. Right arm first. Here we go. Punch, abs tight here. Twist, twist, punch down. Punch up. Cross, and down. Hold the tummy tight. So we've got all this activity, upper and lower body. Brings that heart rate up. Also, engaging your core though. with me one more time. Come on. Let's get a couple of these punches in. 
There we go. Good. All right. One way down. I, I started recording this earlier and then the sun came up and I lost some of my eyes. I use two weights for this and I, I'm going to use it one way. We're going to punch out with heels to the front. All right. Get ready. Right heel first. Here we go. So I held two weights in my hand, one in each hand. I barely made it. So, are you filming this? I get about halfway through on the sun, just a too much. Are you filming this? I'm remembering that that was a lot of weight. So lighten it up a little bit. Because we want to move, we don't want the weight to hold us back. We just want this little bit of resistance to help bring the heart around. Feel it? Do your muscles working too? Well, I do. Three. And rest. Good job. Okay. Back to two weights. We're going to do some bicep curls. Caps to the back. So, lots of movement. Don't necessarily have to bring the curl all the way down. So, it's tap, tap. So, we're moving those arms. Right foot back first. Here we go. There it is, tapping. Great for the beat. Big steps if you can, big tap back. The more movement, the better. And you should feel it, huffing and puffing here. Feel your muscles? My biceps. We get nice and toned and lean. We do different approaches on these muscles. So we do the strength work, we do this toning work, burn the fat. So they show and they look good. Alright, take a deep breath. That was a lot. <sighs> that was tough. Okay, we are coming down into a deadlift. As you come up, you're gonna pull the weight up, same time, leg back, weight down. All right, put the feet down before we go to the other side. Right leg first, here we go, nice flat back. Down, up, right down, down, up. Now I want you to put the weight right here, so reset yourself, so that you can get good form in the deadlift, nice flat back, little bend in the knees. You have plenty of movement, don't worry. Get that heart rate back up. And if you need to put the weight down, Weight down. You can pick up a couple soup cans. That's how I started way back in the day. Denise Austin, VHS tape. And she said, grab a couple cans of soup. So I did. And that is the beginning of my strength training story. Maybe this is the beginning of your strength training story. So if it is, grab those soup cans. Okay. Chopping across the soccer kick. So think about a soccer ball hitting the inside of your foot. And we want to have that position of our foot. Like we're kicking a ball. And we're going to chop across the left, right leg. Chop. Here we go. Come on. Movement. Pull that tummy tight too. We're working this lower body this way, out to the front. You're crunching that lower ab. Pull it tight as you do. Just giving it a little extra training to be what we want it to be, which is sucked in, right? Three more seconds, here it is. And rest, good. Okay, we're going no weight with this one. Here's what we're gonna do. Step out to your right. Over, come up with a side raise. Over, up. So arms down and up. Balance work in three, two, here we go. Over, lift it. Abs are tight. This one's a tough one. You're gonna feel the heart rate up. Feel that glute, bum there. Larger muscles of the lower body. Bring that heart rate up. Get 
Go ahead. All right, you go ahead and put the weight down. Ten more seconds right now. Come on, push through with me. Ten breaths. So, in those arms going up over your head, your heart is to pump blood up. That's hard for your heart. So it's a way of getting your cardio rate up, feel it, without jumping. So just another trick. All right, other side. Here we go. Forward lunge, up. It's starting to burn, all right. It's okay. Burning is good. That's where the magic happens. Well, we're halfway through this. Let's go. Two more seconds. And rest. Awesome job. Catch your breath, back to our weight. We are going to hammer curl. I start up high, so hammer curl as opposed to a bicycle curl. So the weight changes position. We're just gonna kick and curl. Put those elbows right into the waist. Here we go. Kick it, kick it. Put the tummy tight right here. That will grab whenever we want to. Right, we're almost through the circuit. Let's go. Weight down if you need to. Move the arms. Move the legs. Lots of movement. It's heart rate up. More seconds. Come on. Thank goodness. Okay. All right. Two more exercises in the circuit. Glute swing, this is a fun one. You're gonna lift your leg up and back. As you do, the front arm comes forward and around. As it comes forward, you lift, down, lift, down, all right? Just float, go with me. Kind of get the little pattern. Kind of get those hips square, hit that glute. And heart rate up with the arm overhead. Oops, a little balancer. Larger muscle in the lower body. A little bigger. A little more oxygen. So up we go. It's an old aerobic move. If you remember back in the day. I'm not looking at that clock. I know it's coming. There it is. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, my watch isn't picking up my heart rate right now, which it was because I like to know. Other side. Oh, my goodness. Get ready. Remember, forward. It's up in front. Here we go. Up. Come on, push through. We made it through the circuit after this. Ooh. Single digits on the clock, we're almost there. Nice work, ladies. Hooray. We did it. And I hope your heart rate is where mine is. It's a little low end of my cardio, puffing and puffing, so I know I'm burning fat. Keep your head above your heart. Your weight is in your heel of your standing leg here. 
stretching the back of your leg. Catch your breath. Let's go to the other side. It's always wonderful when it's over, isn't it? Yikes. All right, come on up. Let's reach on over. Really reach here. You're going to feel the back of the arm all the way down the side of the body, even into the glute. And other side. Whew. I'm going to stretch here. I don't feel like I can barely hold on because I'm hallucinating so much. How do you feel? Tell me. There's an area for you to leave comments. I love your comments. I really, really do. It's one of my favorite things to do is go to the comments and see what you have to say. Pat yourself on the back. If you like this video, let's say this video is really hard for you. Hit the like button. It's going to put it in your YouTube library so you'll be able to find it easily. And come back after doing a few more workouts. Try it again. And guess what? You're going to realize how much you've advanced. It does not take long. It just takes consistency. Okay? It really just takes that consistency. Around the shoulders, lift to the back. It's not so much how long you exercise each day, it is that you exercise each day. If you are super tight on time, you can find 10 minutes. I know you can, okay? So there are 10 minute options, push the heel down. 10 minute options on this channel, 15 minutes, 20, 30. So my older videos are longer. I took a survey though, and it wasn't unanimous, but it was darn close. You all like the 30 minute format. I take these 30 minute videos and I break them down into shorter videos though. So if you are a 20 minute person or a 15 minute person, I say good for you. Do those videos every day and you are gonna see results. Thumbs back, drop your shoulders here. Feel the biceps stretch. Whew, catch your breath. Let's roll out these shoulders to the back and roll them to the front. Let's lean an ear to your shoulder, stretching that neck. Heart rate should be coming back into a normal range. Other side, that's called heart rate recovery. And the more fit you get, the quicker it happens. So it's a great way to gauge your cardio health. You start to notice that your heart rate's going back to normal quicker. Drop your head, look to one side, so look at one toe. Look down between your feet. Other side, look at the other toe. Down between your feet. Do a deep breath. If you have not subscribed, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. One more deep breath. Never have Siri's talking to me. <laughs> never never cost to subscribe. All that means is that when you open YouTube, you're gonna see the latest video. So you can just hit play and get to work. I'm glad you joined me today and I hope you come back often. I will see you next time.